done on purpose, which as we've just deciphered, it must have been. Why are they doing this? And I don't think many people understand why a brand like Balenciaga would so openly show the world that they are trying to promote pedophilia. Tell them. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today as we see we have Andrew Tate is speaking against pedophilia. And you know this guy is obviously the most hypocrite uh, uh, ever. I mean he is the one who used little girls in his web camera business and he raped them and he beat them and he had tattooed them and then he speak against pedophilia and promoting sex. But what I find it hilarious is that the Dean Show, which is supposedly the Muslim, they claim that there are people who follow Allah and they have good ethic. This is the Dean Show. He almost passed out after seeing this. Between two brackets, Andrew Tate break down Satanist. So listen carefully. The Dean Show agree that those who promote pedophilia, they are Satanist. So let us take that into consideration. I made a comment, I don't know if it's still there in the section here. I don't think it's going to be there, let us see. That I find it funny. Yeah, I think they took it, they took down my, my comment. Let us see. Uh, that I find it funny that somebody, he's a prophet, he married a child. Yeah, they will not let my comment go through. But we will see. Maybe. Maybe they did not notice it. Maybe it passed. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, imagine somebody, he's a prophet himself, is a pedophile, and they are using someone like Andrew Tate to speak against it, and he is saying, one of our brother was outraged by this. He's, he is their brother. Where is my comment? It's gone. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, the wind, uh, you know, the, the genie took it. Yeah, I don't see my comment. Yeah, they took it. So the coward and I said to them, join my channel so that you didn't see how people will laugh at you. A bunch of hypocrites, they have no dignity, they have no honor, and they have no God. I cannot even believe that you Muslims are the one who speak about pedophilia. He almost passed out. And they are using Anton now. Look, if you go to their website, the, their channel, you will see Anton now. They are defending Andrew Tate and say all of this because he is against the left. What left? You are the left. You do muta, one night stand. The Quran allow you to be a pimp. You can, you can make your women walk as a prostitute. Chapter 24, verse number 33. He is speaking against pedophilia. This guy is the last one who can teach us what is right and what's wrong. But those people, because they have no shame, no honor, no God, except Satan, they are bringing him. They are the one who is posting his video in the middle of their video. And now actually they are using him as a, a, a guideline. So Andrew Tate said, have you ever heard, usually the Muslim they say, Prophet Muhammad said, and now they are saying Andrew Tate said, so what Andrew Tate said, I will go and I will open his website, which is still and now is functioning. All right. And now uh, uh, Vatican hurt your children. And my friend, if the Vatican did, that's mean he is following Muhammad. Get lost. You see, when we have a, with a file, we throw him in jail. You Muslims, you take pride on him and you support him and you call him prophet of God and you say peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. If one of us become a pedophile, we throw him in jail, we spit on him. If one of you is a pedophile, he is the best of your men, he is Muhammad. So what about the rest? And until now the Muslims are allowed to marry children. But the funny is about this, uh, this uh, 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 crazy cult, they keep defending this guy 
and saying, oh, this guy is a wonderful guy, our brother, our brother, they could call him brother. If we go to his website, which is until now functioning, <laughs> he never closed, and the class actually was running until he was arrested. And the web cameras girls are working until he's arrested. Actually, even when he was arrested, there was girls working in their webcam in different properties. And they went to their property too. And still the Muslim, they say, oh, you know, this, this is always a false accusation. I mean, the guy, he say he's a pimp. The guy, he admit he operate. The guy, he, he speak about it. And yet they say this is always a false news. Uh... <laughs> And they are bringing Andrew Tate to speak and to teach moral, morality to Muslims. <clears throat> All right. Guys, this is the official website of Andrew Tate. This is the official Andrew Tate website. Official Hostler University. Join $49. He will teach you how to operate webcam business, how to recruit girls, how to make them obey you, how to make them work for you. And those guys are saying all of this is a fake news. I mean, can you believe it? Choose your path. The Hustler University. It's time to make a change. Choose your skills, pricing, marketing course, freelancing, copywriting. The guy is a lawyer, you know, the guy is a lawyer. So, you know, come on, you know, this guy, he, uh, the matrix sender agent. <laughs> Register in the class, 30 second left. <laughs> and if we want any of the video in the website, you will see this guy is speaking about how you can recruit girls and how you can use them and you can how you can control them and which girls you choose for your business for the web camera uh, or how you have uh, to use a corrupt currency so nobody can track your text from the you know ta like tax from those girls so you don't pay tax uh, and those people still they are trying to use him because they are so desperate. This is not a religion. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a scam. And they are using a scammer like them to scam everybody. You know, they, they knew that he supposedly he have many followers from the especially youth who they are. We can deceive them. You know, we can use him so we can convert people to Islam. As simple as that. So the whole story is how we can use this filthy man to make people jo join Islam. Exactly how they're making money. I will teach you exactly how to make money. I would argue that most of you sitting at home don't have a clue. Even if they were to tell you exactly what they're doing, you couldn't replicate it. Even if they were to tell you, you exactly can watch it by yourself doing, anyway. Would still fail. Yeah. Let us go back to the Dean show. The program talking about a liberal school taking uh oh, sorry like a liberal uh, guy he worked for the health department something like that in chicago he is going to school and he is uh giving kids uh, sex toys to play with it and as you see the title that he almost passed out after seeing this if we go to the hadith we will find Aisha, she was playing with her toys when the Prophet of Allah was sleeping with her. And this is after a couple of years after she became his wife. Muhammad, he married Aisha at the age of six. And those guys in their TV, they are speaking about they passed out when they saw this, somebody coming to school and he is giving sex toys. Well, Aisha, she don't use sex toys, she get a rethink. Can you believe how hypocrite those people are? They are complaining about sex toy in a school for children. And they are bringing Andrew Tate 
to speak and to say, I don't understand why this big brand are promoting pedophilia when their prophet himself is a pedophile. And this is in the most authentic source for Muslims. And not only that, in the Quran, we have verses speaking about divorcing little children who they are so young. So they have, there is no, they don't have administration yet. If we go to chapter of At-Talaq, uh, you will see the following. <coughs> chapter 65, verse number 4, it says, Here you see the translation is, uh, is kind of weird, right? Yeah. Uh, here they say, and along with those who have no period, what, what do you mean what they have no period? Why they have no period? Change the translator. Which translation is this? This is Big Tad. Let us see to Hilali and Khan. <laughs> this is Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. Read carefully. This is about this verse is about divorcing, not marrying. This is about divorce. So if they divorce them and still they have no administration, so when they marry them, do you see it? This is not my translation. And for those who have no courses, which mean no menstruation, no period, i.e., they are still immature. And those cowards in their program, they are speaking against pedophilia. And they are claiming that Islam is not a pedophilia religion. Can you believe how hypocrite this cult is? Can you believe how disgusting this cult is? And they want to make a reaction Almost he fainted out. Like, you know what? Oh, we are not, nothing like this. This is your Quran. And we can open the interpretation. So like somebody, a Muslim might say to you, oh, this guy, he is misquoting the Quran. We can go and read the interpretation of their scholars. This is their, their this is the Islamic website of the King of Jordan. And I'm using English version. So you can read with me. As you see, this is the website owned by the royal family of, of Jordan, which is not royal, really. I mean, Muhammad, since when Muhammad is a royal, so he, how they become a royal if Muhammad himself was not? <laughs> if you are a son of Muhammad and he never was a royal, so how you became a royal? You tell me. Scumbags. So here you will see that it says here, this is about women who they are very young. This is the uh, Asbab al nuzul Let us go to uh, al Jalalain. al Jalalain in was is one of the biggest scars in Islam. All right. It says here, uh, and for those who have not yet menstruated, because of their young age. Do you see it? This is not Christian Prince saying to you they are they are kids. So how in the world those people, they have uh, no shame to lie to people and say, we, we Muslims against pedophiles. I challenge those cowards to let me in the phone with them and let us see how much pedophile they are against and how they can speak against pedophilia. And then in the moment 24 in their video, they are playing a, video, a, a tape of uh, Andrew Tate and he is saying, I don't understand why they show the world that they are trying to promote pedophilia. Tell me. But now read with me carefully. The Muslims are trying to take the source of morality from and rotate, not from their prophet. Before they used to say the prophet say, correct? Before they used to say the prophet say, but now because we know what the prophet did, the prophet he did have sex with the children's. So they did not involve the prophet at all. 
What they do? They brought a pimp. His chest is open, showing his chest. I mean, how you are a Dean show, bringing a Muslim brother, and the guy is almost half naked in TV. The Dean show, brother. The Dean show. This is the. This is the. the this is the religion of Islam. Can you take a Muslim for a granted to learn from his, his religion? If you are against pedophilia, if we ask the Dean show, they are coward. They don't even take calls. I tried to call them once. They didn't let me call, go through. If we call them and we ask them, if any of you have an opportunity, can you ask them, please, what is the pedophilia mean? I challenge them even to tell us the definition of it. I challenge every Muhammadan who work in this station, every Muhammadan in the world, to tell us what Ibidophilia mean. Because right away they will see if they give it a definition, they are going to condemn their prophet and their God and their heaven and their and their, and their Quran and their hadith. And their history. What did the feeling mean? How a Muslim he tried to make himself as if he is against pedophilia when your prophet is the most well known, and not only that. Islamic countries, if they practice Islam, you can have, you know, you can have a wife, she is a child. It's not a secret. Only, only if you are not living under Islamic law, then there is a law that says, oh, 18 years old. But this is taken from the Western. It's very funny and it's very embarrassing that now they are quoting Prophet Andrew Tate, peace be upon him, they are not giving us preference from their Quran that they are against pedophilia. Why did they not ask? Why did they not quote? Why did they not mention what the Prophet said about pedophilia? Why did they not mention the Quran, what the Quran says about it? Because simply the Quran supported and the Prophet himself, he did it. And now they are trying to use this pimp as their source to convince you that Islam is against Peter. The guy just converted to Islam two or three months ago. And obviously he converted for a reason. I believe this guy, he converted because he knew he's going to go to jail and he is preparing himself to escape in the worst scenario so he can go to Muslim country, the same as happened with Zakar Naik. I don't think this guy even, you know, this guy is, a, is like a snake. In a in a in a Islamic program, he told them that he quit alcohol. He quit alcohol. Two weeks after, he posted his video drinking whiskey. <laughs> in their program, he quit alcohol. He is and yet he is keeping posting videos in Facebook. I mean, come on! I mean, the stupidity is amazing. But because he knew that those Muslims are hypocrite like him, so, you know, he is a hypocrite, they are a hypocrite, they match. I am lying to them, they are lying to me. What's wrong with that? What is the problem? How in the world you Muhammadan claim for a second? And look, look, you know, uh, we lost connection. Oh boy. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Do you hear me now, guys? Sorry, welcome to America. You know, in America, we live, by the way, in a country. It's obviously, it's like Somalia. I went to Rome. Here, we don't even have five. You know, and this is America, and they charge us a hell of money for the internet speed. Scam is everywhere. Those companies, all of them, they are a scam. 
the TV show are scam. All right, look like we having difficulty. Uh, am I heard? Yeah, this is another issue. Here we go. It was in it was in connection again. I don't know. Let me change my uh, internet connection. <clears throat> All right, are we now better? Okay, I just hope so. Yeah, you know, this is what happened when you are when you live in America. If you live in uh, in any uh, any country now, even you know, the funny is American they pay a lot of money for the Egyptian to have good internet. Do you believe it or not? We have a budget to give Egypt, Somalia, all the poor countries, even China. But our internet here is the most horrible and we have to pay a lot of money and we got no internet. We got the slowest inter slowest internet in the world. All our money go abroad and we don't have good service and we don't have good internet. Honestly, I'm not I'm not joking with you. I, like I went to Ukraine the speed and sale is so good, I could not believe it. Here, if I want to do something in my phone, it takes me five minutes to open anything. And now we have to blame the Jews. Yeah, in Egypt, they have internet better than our internet. I'm telling you, in Emirat, in Kuwait, in, in, in Saudi Arabia, here we have the worst service in the world. And this is America. We give them assistance because supposedly they are a developing country. There's a program. Every American embassy, we give Indonesia, we give China, we give uh, uh, Singapore, we give uh, all countries in the world, we give them a lot of money assistance so they can, school can have internet, student they can, uh, uh, you know, uh, view the web, but we cannot have internet. This is the truth. And we have a guy in the Congress, in, in, the, in the White House, I don't remember his name. Yeah. Anyway, uh, going back to the topic. So those bankrupt people, you know, this religion, because they could not find, uh, uh, they could not find anything. Guys, I am. I'm going to go and teach in. Uh, uh, Indonesian uh, Zoom, you know, Indonesian group, but uh, and they told me they want to make a, a like a thump for the video, and look look how I look like in the thump. Uh, I am a red head. I have a blonde beard, and uh, that this is support TCP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> anyway, yeah, well, I mean, they have to make a thumb, but you don't have to put someone he is. Why he is so white and so blonde and so... I have no idea. Anyway, Lord have mercy. What I can say. Yeah, this is me. I wish my mom, she can see me now. You know, she will change her idea about us, about me, you know. Unbelievable. Hey, hey, mom, hello? Mom, do you want to see how I look like today? Yeah, son, what happened to you? Oh, mom, hold on. I have somebody to explain to you what happened. Christian Prince, let me explain to you, explain to your mother what happened. First of all, my sister in Islam, your son, he converted to Islam. To Allah, he made him so handsome. You put second neck, I did not convert to Islam. Why are you are lying, bro? man? Christian Prince, we have to lie to your mother, so your mother she will not know the truth. Look, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with the truth? The truth that you're ugly. Because would she know me already? She's my mother, you idiot. What's all talking about? She's the one who gave me birth. Christian Prince, we don't want to know the truth because that hurt. It hurts you. It doesn't hurt her. She's my mother. Don't worry about her. She know how I look like. 
Christian Prince, let me lie to her so that he will believe it. I'm, I don't lie to my mother, man. What's wrong with you? I don't lie to anybody. Christian Prince, Prophet Peace upon him, he said, the man he can lie to his wife and the wife he can lie to her husband. You idiot. First, she isn't my wife, she is my mother. Secondly, why am I going to lie to my wife or to my mother? What's wrong with you? Christian Prince, Allah Prophet, he said, because it's for the benefit of society. What benefit for society? Society society benefit is to lie to each other. Exactly. Because if you give me the truth, I, you will hurt me. If I give you the truth, you will be hurt. Uh, uh, try to hurt me. Christian Prince, look at yourself. What's wrong? You look ugly. Okay, Zakir Naik, look at yourself. Christian Prince, you killed me now. I'm going to cry. So, no, you just told me, look at myself. I told you, look at yourself. I did not say, I did not even say you look ugly or anything. So, why, why I cannot say it to you? Exactly, you get my point. So, the prophet he said, we should lie to each other so we don't hurt each other because we are people don't like hurt people. Uh, okay, Zakir Naik, and I have a program to continue. And uh, <clears throat> let us uh, go back to uh, Andrew Tate. Christian Prince. Leave under Tate alone. He is our brother in the Muslim. We know he's a Muslim. That's why he's a pimp. You know, it's, it's a perfect there. Exactly. And by the way, he said, I don't know why in the world they are trying to promote pedophilia. What do you think about that? Christian Prince, we Muslims, we are against pedophilia. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Pedophilia is somebody who want to marry someone who is two days old. Ah, oh, two days old. Exactly. If she is more than that, it's okay. Your prophet, he asked for the hand of someone she is infant. Exactly. But she is not too old. She was about six months. So according to Islam, if she is more than six months, it is lawful for us. Six months, you eat that. You can marry a, a girl. She is six months. How you can do that? And what, what do you want to do with her? There are many benefits. Number one, you can use her poo, poo for fertilizer. What the heck? You, what, 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 what you say? You can use her poo, poo for fertilizer. And then by the time they grow, we can grow a tree. Is that gonna make you sound like you are so much good in farming? And I have to go back to the program. Christian Prince, I am telling you, you cannot anger the phone on me, and I turned you. Is that gonna make you first? You are not in the phone, and you are an idiot. I'm talking to you directly. There's no phone. Hello? Okay, he's gone. All right. <clears throat> so those people here, they are quoting Andrew Tate that he is a person against pedophilia. While they are a prophet, he was busy with six years old girl in the calendar of Muslims, but which means five years old in our calendar. Who is a Muslim would like to call me and tell me if he against pedophilia or not? Hmm? Who is a Muslim would like to call me and tell me if he is against pedophilia? <clears throat> Anyone? Nobody? Not even a one single Muslim he want to stand up to tell us? Are you Muslims in total agreement that your prophet is a pedophile? And Aisha told the truth. And then the funny is, the Muslims, they have tons of articles saying, no, no, Aisha, she was 18 when the prophet, he married her. But the fact Aisha, she, when she was 18, before she reached the age of 18, Muhammad was dead. So look like Muhammad, he married Aisha after he died. Right after. Hmm. Any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muhammadan? Nobody? Nobody have a comment about the Dean show? Who is a Muslim he is willing to call the Dean show and show con con contact me with, with them? Who is willing to call right now? Even if they are, by the way, they are not live. I can talk to this guy, Eddie, or whoever work in the Dean show. Do we have any Muhammadan he would like to do it? 
and you will see what will happen. I think that will be interesting. Anyone? Any Mohammedan? You know, some people, they keep talking about this uh, Christian Orlando, Rolando, whatever is guy. This guy is no Christian. Is it? Those are people are Christian by name. Girlfriend and boyfriend and etc. This garbage, you know. Just stop even mentioning his name. The, he is a hypocrite. They are hypocrite. All of them, they are hypocrite. They are the same equality. People, they are, you know, people worship famous people. This is the truth. Uh, you know who, who is even this guy he is just uh, you know he play with his feet what he what 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 those people do for humanity i mean what they help what they do no he did not change anything in saudi arabia you can have girlfriend and you can sleep around and you can drink wine and there is parties and the american night clubs they are all over and even in the base they have a churches so uh, you know i mean all of this is just it's just a garbage He changed nothing. He is an idiot. He is a money worshipper. They will change him. He will not change them. They are already corrupt. You cannot corrupt the corrupt, my friend. And all of you, you have no idea. You all, all of you worship just a celebrity. Who is even this guy? Why he is important for you? If we mention his name just to laugh. He changed the law. This guy, he don't care for anything. Those people, they drink, they sleep around, they want money. They are the same as Andrew Tate, but they are different field of business. They did not change anything, my friend. I told you, you never be in Saudi Arabia. You have no idea. In Saudi Arabia, you can do everything. Everything. But because this guy is a public figure, and now everybody knows he is going to bring his girlfriend, so it is in TV. Otherwise, all of them, they do. All of them, they do. The, there is a very odd trick for a girlfriend to come, you know. Uh, Saudi have a girlfriend. What he do? He bring her a visa that she is a maid. <laughs> Uh, when you will stop dis disrespecting Allah and his prophet Muhammad millions of Muslims will come at you remember my friend I don't know look like you millions are a bunch of cowards because none of you until now show up to me so look like the millions now there is no man left what about you Alexa I think you are a female and you lost your private part in a business camera with Andrew Tate. That's why you don't dare to come to me. Instead of telling me millions will come to you, well, if you are a man, you come to me. What about you call me and open your camera and tell me I'm coming to you, Christian Prince. Do you dare? You don't even dare to do such, so, just, just to talk. You are just a terrorist, you know, in the in the chat. But in reality, you are a potato. Hummus. Very hummus. Millions? What millions? None of you is a believer. And look at this religion, you know, they, they think if they threat somebody, he will change his mind. You know, you can do that to someone who's a coward, not someone like me. If I want to be changing my mind, I will change my mind, you know, from the day number one. Because you Muslims, do you know how many times you threat me? And then I read books and books and books and books and thousands and thousands of YouTube videos, seminars, because simply your threat doesn't count for me. You are a coward potato. Do we have any brave Muslim he can verify that he support his prophet or he is against pedophilia? Anyone? Any Mohammedan he would like to join us? How are you, Sarah? We have our sister Sarah here. You remember Sarah? Say hello to her. She called us on the other day. She's an ex-Muslim. I mean, how in the world you Muslim? What's wrong with you? 
You see, I cannot believe it really that those people, they are so low to the point, like, you know, I, I, I have no problem with the video, by the way. I mean, uh, okay, you don't want your children to be exposed to those things, but you are a Muslim. And as a Muslim, your daughter at the age of six years old, she is available to marriage. Isn't it, isn't it you a Muslim? You claim that you are a Muslim Sunni. All of those are Muslim Sunni. And Sunni mean they follow the steps of Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. So how you are a Muslim Sunni, and yet you don't want pedophilia? <laughs> Can you believe those these people how crazy they are? <laughs> Muslims are never scared. I don't know, my friend. I don't know. I was in the army in the USA army, and I know that there's two thousand of us was in Afghanistan for twenty years, and Taliban they are like hundred eighty thousand soldiers, fighters, and yet they did not take the capital until we decide to leave willingly not only that we said four years in advance we are going to leave in 2021 <laughs> 2000 <laughs> 2000 marines only control of Augusta. <laughs> you know always the muslims are so so it's like so powerful after the enemy leave like you know the Israeli army enter Gaza and then the second the Israeli army go the, the Muslim they go and they, they refire for they shoot in the air where you been where you been when they the, like the Jews they were there between in your like in the front of your house how come when they are in the front of your house your gun your rifle is not there the second they leave hmm? the second they leave you go out with your rifles. I remember once there was a the Israeli army, the commandos, they kidnapped a terrorist ahead of Hezbollah. He is was the assistant of Hezbollah at that time, leader. The, the helicopter landed in the highway in Beirut, in the middle of Beirut, close to the airport area. They landed there. They have even dogs with them. Imagine the Israeli coming for like a like a like a picnic. They have dogs with them. They arrested the guy, they arrested even his bodyguards. He, even his bodyguard did not use their guns. They surrendered right away. They took them, they put them in their plane, they fly, and then after they left almost 15, 20 minutes, suddenly the, uh, the members of Hezbollah are all over the place and they are shooting in the sky. <laughs> anyway, going back to our topic. Who is a Muslim would like to join us? Can an ex-Muslim call? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let us see. I will give you a chance maybe later. But for now, we want a Muslim. Do we have any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? Anyone? What's the difference between jinn and shaitan? Jinn so is jinn is the kind of the creatures. You see, like there is angels, excuse me, and there is there is genie. Genie, according to the Quran, uh, is uh, created from uh, uh, fire and gas. It, you know, is a uh, is a fiction. You know, a creature. Uh, and the Muslims they took that from uh, other nations like India and the Persia. About the like you know, I remember those uh, genie in the bottle, and those are you know very ancient stories. This is not something new. Like now you see them in the movies, uh, Alibaba, you know, and the genie. Uh, those are really something coming from a very very long long time from many nations, uh, long before the Arab exist. And Muhammad, as usual, he copy uh, stories from others. So genie is a character copy from fictions uh, and legends about a creature who is created from fire and this uh, genie according to islam some of them they are muslims some of them they are christians some of them they are hindus you know like i mean they have religion and uh, a muslim genie he live in a muslim house a christian genie he live in a christian house a hindu genie etc live in the same kind of religion house according to muhammad the genie they eat uh, bones 
uh, the one we throw and Allah he made it covered by meat but we don't see it yet it's bones we see bones but Allah covered it for them by meat this is why when Muhammad they asked him to bring he asked them to bring something to clean his ass with they brought him uh, bones he said no this is the food of the genie but anyway this is not our topic for now but just to cover your question do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us and speak and make a comment reaction how in the world the Dean show they are quoting the pimp Andrew Andrew Titi that he is against pedophilia how come you are not quoting your prophet we know the answer because your prophet is a pedophilia person your religion approved it your religion practice it Islamic countries allowed it and now you are trying to fool those Christians and American that you are saying you are against pedophilia what about sex toys you don't want to believe in Allah because you're afraid he will punish you you make fun of God like atheist my my friend just to show you how silly what you just said and just to show you Ammar that Muslim they are suffering from low IQ not only low oil how I am afraid of from Allah and because he wanna punish me and I make fun of him if I'm afraid I will not make fun secondly oh what I need to do I convert to Islam and then everything will go so it is you who is terrified and your testicles are shaking like the bells of Andrew Tate when the police came and you are the one who's afraid of his God but as you see we believe your God does not exist prove to me that your God does exist just to show you how you are your threat is empty isn't it your God he threat the Christian Prince 1400 years ago your God your God he threat Christian Prince 1400 years ago I don't know I see uh, some buffering in the in the video guys is the video working okay like now maybe working look what your God your God he threat my cousins 1400 ago and he said to them if you don't believe in Prophet Muhammad Allah will erase your face the Christian they get they told Muhammad get lost we are waiting let your God do it and until now nothing happened So if your God is real, shouldn't he keep his, his promise? And, and don't tell me this something will happen at the judgment day. Because he said the same as we did to people of the Sabbath. The people of the Sabbath, he did not wait until judgment day. Right away they broke the Sabbath. Second day he made them what? He made them pigs and monkeys. So your God, he make an empty threat for he is an empty God. He is an idol. And we challenge Allah to do what he say. Oh, hold on. I think now I know what happened to my face when I saw this picture here. You know, those those Indonesian, you know, they made a thumb for my coming video. And look, here we go. Allah erased my face. Look what happened. I have only nose and uh, uh, and beard. And my beard become red. I don't know. This is a, a Prophet Muhammad, by the way, he used to color his beard with onion and henna. He want to be redhead. And I changed the Muslim. Why Muhammad like to be blonde? Not only blonde, he want to be redhead. Even he forbid the Muslim from coloring their hair black. I challenge any Muslim to tell me that I'm lying. Racist. He hate black color. He want to be a redhead. Now, do we have any Muslim he want to condemn pedophilia? Who dare to speak openly, say, I, I am against pedophilia? Hmm? Anyone? My beard is the best. I hate my beard. I shave it at night. At the morning, I have one. I have the most, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sick of it. I wish I, I wish there is a spray. You spray it and that's it. They will never grow like an option fixer, you know. You shave at night and the morning you have a beard. In the morning, not even eight hours after. If I fly from here, I'm going to a different country. By the time I arrive the country, I have to shave before I leave the airport because I'm not shaving all everything, but like shave just some areas because it's grown, you know, you will see it all over. I have my beard, I keep it, you know, I just uh, trim it. <clears throat> 
do we have any Muhammadan here would like to forget about my beard now the prophet he have a beard and it was weird full of lice I guarantee you that my beard has zero lice do we have any Muhammadan here any Muhammadan any Abdul he can support what the Deen show claiming that Islam is against be the files and not only that the Deen show brother they are quoting their brother the pimp and rotate and now in every video in their channel they put and rotate you like it or not the guy is not even here the guy is in jail and he is a pimp and he is you know he's been accused by serious crimes and obviously they have evidence and not only that today we heard the news that they even have a recording of him they wiretape one of the girls and they have a lot of evidence he said to her which means he was a stupid and not only that we heard that this hero who speak of himself of weak muscles he got sick right away as soon as he get inside the jail look like the hero he have a, he, he have a body of a kid you know, they take me to hospital. The matrix attack me. You know, you just get in, just wait. What will happen if you stay there for 20, 30 years? Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He can support what those guys are saying. Are they lying or they are really saying the truth? Is it true that you Muslims are against with the files? If so, then why the Quran says you can marry and divorce children? Why your prophet marry a child? And how in the world this TV is functioning? Don't you Muslims have a shame? Don't you ask yourself, oh, what are you talking about, man? Isn't it the prophet marry Aisha at the age of six? Anyone? Any Muhammadan? May they, may they, may they. For the last time, Andrew Tate is no Muslim. My friend. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ammar, why you don't call me and proved, prove to me that he is not a Muslim? You said he provoked Islam by his action. But isn't it the Quran says you can be a pimp? Isn't it your prophet? He work as a pimp. Call me. Let everybody hear you, and hear me. What do you think, guys? And the funny is that you are saying he is not a Muslim, but the D show, in every video, every day they make. If we go right now, if we go back in this in this uh, channel, here we go. I will click in it. Look, every video now they make have uh, and rotate. And this is now, I mean, look, this is two days ago. This is five days ago. This is nine days ago. This is 10 days ago, every day, every day. So how you Muslim, one, you know, your big TV channel saying he's a Muslim, and they are now quoting him as if he's a prophet, peace be upon him. And you are saying to me, he is not a Muslim. Who, was, who of you is lying? They are quoting him. They are using what he say as a quotation. Our brother Andrew Tate, he said, watch the video. He said, they are quoting hadith from prophet Andrew Tate. I have the video in front of you. All the titles. This is, look, 243,000 view two days ago. Not a single Muslim in the comment section, he said, Andrew Tate is a bad person or he is not Muslim. Taliban themselves, they are asking to free Andrew Tate, peace be upon him. What say you? Now you want to try to wash your hands from him? Too late. Too late. I know this is what's going to happen. Honestly, I know it is going to happen. I told actually from the first video, you Muslim will regret that this person he converted to Islam. 
and then every puppy in YouTube start having an interview with him because Islam, the nature of Islam is a, is a power seeker, celebrity seekers. You know, Islam is a bankrupt. It's a showtime. They have nothing real. It's empty religion. It's like a drum. Boom, 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 boom. But the second you put a nail in it, nothing. The drum is gone. In Islam, the body is sacred. And this is why women is covered. That's false. That's false. The real reason for women to be covered in Islam is to recognize between a slave and free women so the Muslim will not rape her in the street. Do you want to call me to show you the reference? Do you dare to call me to show you the reference that the reason Muslim women she wear hijab and dress differently so she will not be assaulted in the street by Muslims because Muslims assault women who they are not wearing hijab because that's mean they are slaves so they can rape them. Do you want to challenge me for that? See, each time I say something to you, I challenge you, you go and you search Google and you come back to me with such a stupid thing. But you don't have the courage, neither the knowledge to say, I challenge you, here we go, show me. Isn't it weird? Is it true that Umar al-Khattab, he did beat a slave because she covered her head? And he said to her, are you trying to act like a free woman? And not only that, they forced the slaves to serve food and serve a drink to their visitors when they are topless. Topless. And their breast is bouncing. So either you are an ignorant, stupid, or you are ignorant, stupid. Choose one. Remember, you are talking to Christian Prince. I am not an average American person who do not know anything about Islam. Here, I have all your laundry. And still, I have it without washing. Even though, uh, like uh, Ibn Ishaq, he tried to wash it. Like Ibn Ishaq, when he wrote his book, he says, Anything which is in like uh, considered like an uh, not suitable for the prophet, I delete it. Why you delete it? So imagine how many like crazy stuff they hide from us. What we know now is just a little of the garbage of Muhammad. Do we have any Muhammadan? May they, may they. Anyone? Not a single Muhammadan have the courage to call us to explain why your Islamic TV making a program claiming that they are against pedophilia and they are using Andrew Tate as a reference against pedophilia. When the guy is a pimp, even he is going after young girls who they are children. Do you, Muhammadan, have a shame? I mean, how low this religion to the point now that your reference is coming from Andrew Tate, peace be upon him. Watch the program. I have the link in the info. The guy, he says, one of our brother, he was yet, he was talking about how come nobody have uh, been outraged about this. And then he says, but hold on, we have a hope. Look like we have a hope, huh? That's what this meant. Uh, one of our brother, he was, he outraged by this and he mentioned and retreat and he started playing his video. How you explain that to me? And this is in the moment 24 in the video. Go watch it. The moment 24. They have your brother naked in the screen. His chest is open. I mean, how even you as a Muslim, you put such a video of a guy, I mean, at least address him. Do we have any Muhammadan? It's okay if they use Arabic, as long as I understand Arabic, don't worry. 
I did not become like Muhammad. I'm not suffering from Alzheimer or dementia. Any Muhammadan? So now Andrew Tate is your reference, a pimp, and your prophet who had sex with Aisha at the age of six. And what's wrong with uh, with the, with the, with the sex toys? Isn't it you Muslims in your hadith explain how a woman she can have a sex toy? Didn't you? Or I'm lying. Hmm? Let us find some reference. I'm just trying to find the website in English. Uh, let us see. Because you believe it or not, Muslims, they approve sex toys before anyone else in the world. I'm trying what to what to search for in the English. I know how to find the hate in Arabic, but I remember in the website of Answering Islam they have a translation for the hate in English. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Uh, consider uh, Sarah uh, uh, as an admin. Yeah, oh, Sarah, just text me. Uh, text me in Skype to confirm that this is you, and I will add you as an admin. Sure. <clears throat> Let us search in Arabic as long as I cannot find it in English. Maybe we can find the English, uh, the English one too. Just to warn you, what I'm going to read for you is not, you know, suitable for some people. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I think we found it. Let us do some. <laughs> Things is getting more complicated. Okay. Let us see here. <laughs> uh, 
Elirius. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to find a, a website I can share with you. I found it in English, but this website is not good to share. Well, look like we have to share this website. We have no choice. I did not find it from Answering Islam website. And the problem when you search the topic, you find nothing but porn. I mean, let us see here. <clears throat> Okay, I will give you this website. If somebody can find me the title, the article in uh, uh, in answering Islam uh, website, would it be better? And when you go there, I will I will give you a, a text to search it in the page. You open the page, and then you need to search. You need to search for this text. Search alive or dead in the page. You know how to search? Simply when you open a page, you can type, you open the page in the top, you can type here whatever you want. Like you, you click in your computer. I don't know what computer you're using, uh, Mac or uh, window. Uh, in my Mac, I click command and F and then I search. And you can type, you can type alive or dead and you will find this text. Here it says, just to make a story short, this is about Muhammad having sex with an animal. And the Muslim, they are trying to say, no, this is not about animal, this is about having sex with sex toys, which is now supposedly nicer. So here it says, this is the hadith in Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. Uh, from, 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 etc. And now the explanation about it in the book of uh, uh, Sahih Muslim, Sharh al -Nawawi. But it's in Arabic. But if you go down here, you will find the commentary for this hadith. So it's here, here, it says, if you read with me, the meaning of the hadith is necessarily to watch, not to limit, that when semen is ejaculated, rather than when it is at the penal head, uh, hash, uh, uh, let the, the head of the male member, i.e. the head of the penis, be treated in the vagina, then it is necessarily for the man to wash for the for the uh, man and woman to wash there is no disagreement on this today today even though there was disagreement about this in some early companion which means the early companion and muhammad they don't wash if you remember muhammad he used to have sex with 13 women he don't even wash but here things getting more complicated it says our companion have said that if the penal head had been treated a woman anus or a man's anus or an animal, or vagina, or it is anus, then it is necessarily to wash. Whether it is being been treated alive or dead, young or old, whether it was done uh, uh, like uh, intentionally or uh, uh, like accidentally. Uh, uh, you know, I think, I think Andrew Tate, he was doing it accidentally. I mean, I think you agree with me, don't you? All of this happened accidentally. I mean, how in the world do you want to put your private part in the anus of an animal accidentally? Accidentally? Like what? Like, you know, you were running after the donkey and the donkey suddenly stopped and you could not stop yourself and you found yourself like boom? Accidentally. Intentionally or accidentally. All right. And then they continue here. Things is getting more complicated. Let us see about the toys. Here it says, 
If a woman insert in her vagina an animal penis, she must wash. And if she insert a detached penis in Arabic, ذكرًا مقطوعًا, a, 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 a severed, severed male member, there is two opinion, and the most accurate that she must wash. Look what they are talking about. This is Muslim books. This is Muslim books. They are cutting a penis of an animal and using it for sex as sex toy. <clears throat> Read it. This is not my words. And this is Sahih Muslim. And this is your interpretation. And this is your scholars. And this is the reference in the front of you. And I challenge you to say I'm lying. Here we go. The reference in the front of you. Very, very noble religion, you know. <clears throat> but there is here something we did not mention. Uh, well, hold on, there's something I think we skipped. But anyway, I mean, what we did read already, it is more than enough to show us that six toys in Islam. Uh, because they did not mention the ikrimbage, you know, I don't see the ikrimbage, which is like a, like zucchini, you know, a woman, she will shape a leather, le like a, a leather, you know, in the shape of a private part, and she will use it. I don't see that in the, in the comment here, in the, in the text. Anyone see it? Okay. Our companion have said the intercourse with the uh, healthy male penal head completely penetrated and official. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think they don't have the whole text here. Uh, ah, here to continue. Sorry. Uh, uh, this is no, this is Def Hadith. This is Adan Hadith actually here. It says, If a man he have sex intercourse with an animal, his Hajj is valid. Very holy religion. The guy is going to do Hajj, go around the Kaaba to be a holy man so his sin will be forgiven. And now it's time to have sex with the goat before he go. And according to the Muslim cleric, this is nothing wrong with it, and that will not the like uh, will, will not uh, uh, destroy uh, or make his Hajj invalid. It's in the front of you. Uh, let us see. Yeah, there is uh, there is some uh, some text is missing here in the in this uh, page. I don't see it. Where is the word? Okay, let me let me search. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, there is something missing. This is not an accurate translation for everything. There, there is something been taken off. Uh, let us see. Anyway, that's enough. That is enough. So the Islamic religion and the Deen show, peace be upon them, they are telling us that Islam is against six toys. But as you see, Muslim women they are allowed to use six toys long time ago, and even they cut they can cut a penis of an animal, and even they can have sex with animals and men too. As you see, our companion have said if the penal head had been treated a woman anus or a man anus. Who is the who is the one will be? Hey Muslims, who is the one will do a, a man? Uh, yeah. Okay, Sarah. Here we go. We have our new admin, Sarah. Welcome, Sarah. You see, guys, 
Those people, they speak about morality in their TV. Their prophet is a pedophile. Their religion is all, everything. You know, the, uh, this is why someone like Andrew Tate, he find himself, he don't, you know, he don't fit in Christianity, you know? Yes, he was an atheist, but this is why, you know, he did not like Christianity from the beginning. Because Christianity teach something totally different. He feels so filthy, so guilty. Now he's free, you know, and now Islam fit perfectly. The Quran says you can, you, you know, you can work as a pimp. Chapter 24, verse number 33. The Quran says you can beat women, and this is what he do. The Quran says if you feel their rebellion, beat them, jail them, you know, punish them. The Quran says man in charge of women because they spend money on them. But in the case of uh, Andrew Tate, actually, <laughs> it's the women who spend their money on him because he is stealing their money. This is their money. He don't work. They are the ones working. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan here? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and we will tell you how Prophet of Allah, he endorsed such kind of beautiful uh, sex toys. Anyone? All right, I think our admin found the article for, uh, here we go. This is the article actually, this is the whole thing. Uh, this is the whole page from Answering Islam website. Let me post it for you. All right, as you see it in the front of you. And this is an article actually written by Sam Shamoon. And this is all those articles written after me uh, explode their internet with the accusation that their prophet was having sex with the goat. And the Muslim now, they decide to refute me by making pictures of how animals have sex in their website. Can you believe it? They want to prove me wrong, supposedly. So what they do? What they do? They post pictures of animals having sex to prove that the Prophet did not do it this way. <laughs> Answering Christian Prince, the liar. The liar, huh? and not only that, they post in their website that the women, Muslim women, she use ikrambij. She use what? Ikrambij. It's a leather made penis in the shape of a male penis, and the Muslim women, she will use it to satisfy her needs. And they are now trying to refute me. You know, those people remind me, uh, you know, when this guy... Uh, 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 Osama Abdullah, he made a video in the in the Boston YouTube, and he he did the video with five other Muslims. So they meet together, they they decide to refute me. So and he say, I think uh, my brother, etc., is a wadi, babadi, the daddy, whatever you know. So he thanked them all, and he said, today we are going to prove how Christian prince lie about the prophet, peace upon him. First of all, he said that the prophet was dirty. The fact is. Prophet of Allah was so clean and he clean lies of himself by himself. Listen, he is refuting me now. He's what? He is refuting me. Prophet of Allah, he clean himself from lies by himself. But do you see how we clean the Prophet? The, the Prophet is full of lies. And now they are trying to refute me that the Prophet is so clean. Oh boy. Oh. See here there is more rest we did not see in that page. Oh. What is the Ikrambij? I cannot find it. I mean, you need to read carefully the whole thing to find it. Material aid, perhaps. Uh, maybe this is a translation for it. Maybe. Yeah. But anyway. Do we have any Muhammadan here?
there's actually there's a hadith that the Prophet he used to sit in the lap of a woman her name is Ummu Haram and she used to clean him from lice and uh, here I find it very funny that this woman she is not his wife she is a wife of one of his companions and now Muhammad is laying down between her legs and the woman she is taking lies from his head brother this is what I called love hmm? if you don't believe me I can show a reference hold on a Muslim he, don't, he looked like he's confused he's like what what are you talking about man this can't be true the Prophet doing that no way uh, Abdul yes way give me a second okay okay oh look how beautiful this hadith this is the hadith from the the, the kind will make you feel like you want to cry this is love this is love yeah he related to me from Malik from Pum from blah 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 the messenger of Allah Allah bless him and grant him peace went to Uqba, blah, blah 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 to visit Ummu Haram bintu etc and she fed him Ummu um Haram was the wife of Ubadah ibn As-Samt one day Allah messenger may Allah bless him and grant him peace he called on her she had fed him eh? When you, what are you going to your wife? Go to your wife and sit down to the loss his hair. You see, the Muslims they are saying that the Prophet he come to this woman so she will take lies from his hair. Any Muslim have a comment? And this is the hate in the front of you. In Arabic, actually, it's more and more funny, you know. I mean, the guy, he fell to sleep. She is, because it took forever. The Prophet hid is like a jungle full of lies. Who want to tell me I'm lying? And the funny, this is in the book of Jihad. Is that a jihad against lies? Hmm? Look, all of those references. This is Sahih. Don't tell me it's weak. Don't tell me it's weak. I will send you free shipping and handling to Allah. She started working in his head, picking up the lice one after one. And he slept between her legs. Any Muhammadan? And look, look here, here. Even here, the verse is more clear. The, I mean, the statement in English. It says here, he visited her and she provided him with some food and started inspecting his head for lice. <laughs> the pink panther. <laughs> and you know this guy, Sabil Ahmad? He say, Rasulullah. Rasulullah, he was so good in hygiene. Brothers, sisters, if you will listen to Rasulullah, we will be so clean and we will be avoiding all kinds of disease. Ask me, I'm a doctor. And the guy, he have lies. He die because he's sick. He have disease every few days. He have uh, obviously sexual diseases. His wives, they have always yellow water coming from, from, their, from uh, their private part. And then what? You know, Rasulullah. He said, when you do yawning, cover your face. But he didn't say that we cover our, our face because Muhammad, he said, shaitan will jump in your mouth and he will laugh at you. He make it about uh, uh, hygiene now. I mean, do you see how they lie? The same now about, uh, you know, bedophile. Suddenly the Muslims are not, you know, they don't believe in bedophile and their prophet is not a bedophile. Watching from Australia, my awesome brother. My friend, just show, uh, join us in the chat. Don't text me in Skype. Just in the chat, my friend. Stop exposing our hadith book if you don't know more. That's deep. Stop. <laughs> Stop exposing our hadith more if you don't know more. What? What the heck is that? 
Well, you don't change your picture. I mean, your hand is always up. And as you see, if you look up, lies will fall in you like rain. Actually, even your prophet, he said that Allah, he examined his messengers by lies. By what? By lies. The biggest threat of a prophet of Allah and the, all the prophets of Allah is lies. Your prophet said, Like, you know, you might ask somebody, what is the hardest time? You say, you might say, okay, high school to pass, uh, to finish uh, medical degree, a law degree, engineering degree. Uh, Muhammad is lies. We should make just a video, just a special uh, like section about the lies and the, uh, between Muhammad and the companion. You will find that all of them, they are full of lies because they don't take a shower, they don't clean themselves. Do we have any Muhammadan? So going back to the Dean show, the Dean show from now on, they are using Andrew Tate to defend their religion and to claim morality. But here you ask yourself, if, if, if Andrew Tate is their best man, what kind of religion Islam is? If this is the one you want to quote him in every video look every video they are posting from now uh, you know since the guy he converted to Islam every time they make a video they put a picture of him play a video of him if you go in this video here the one that says Andrew Tate insider expose truth after uh, his arrest he, he, you will see the Muslim saying oh this guy our brother, he was arrested because now he's a Muslim and those leftists and what leftists? We are not leftists. How in the world anyone support a, a pimp? I mean, what's wrong with those people? This guy is a proud pimp. His business is until now working. His website until now is running. Anyone? <clears throat> The lice business website is still working, and you must them still, you know, still. Is that how bankrupt you are? I mean, how low you can go? Any Mohammedan here? Seriously, how low you can go? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Any Muhammadan? Nobody? How sad. So in TV, you claim that you are against Islamophobia, but your prophet himself, sorry, is, is, is a, like bidophilia, sorry. And your prophet himself is a bidophile. And your Quran teacher, you can have sex with the children. But in TV, when you speak to those ignorant America and you try to fool them saying oh Islam is against it my friend we are here watching you and we are here to expose you and we are here to show everybody in the world who you are bunch of corrupt people and you have a low ethic you don't even have dignity or courage even to say what you believe and you know when somebody hide what his belief is that mean himself is ashamed of it do we agree? When you hide what your belief is, that means you yourself is ashamed of your own belief. And ask yourself, which one we should accept? Somebody making a statement in the Dean show with this idiot, liar making business, 
or the Quran and the Hadith. The Prophet himself, he married Aisha at the age of six. This guy himself, he interviewed Mimi Hijab and they spoke about it. And they agree, the Prophet, he married Aisha at the age of six. So how in the world you claim that you are against pedophilia? And how you can claim that children, they cannot have any relationship with sex toys. So we cannot give them sex toys to play with it, but we can give them the real thing. And we can sleep with them. I mean, do you see how conservative they are? Muhammadan, they are against sex toys. But as you see, you know, Muslim women, she can use a penis of a donkey, a dog, a human being, an animal, cut animal, leather. <clears throat> you can't even take a Muslim to the museum, you know? Because it says there in the hadith, uh, like uh, like our statues. A statues, a Muslim, he see a statue, want to have sex with it. So in the in their in their program, they try to present themselves as decent religion who have ethic. They are ethical. They are clean. They are. They are. But reality is totally opposite. How many uh, version of the Quran? It is not our topic. You see, for me, I don't really care, really care if they have one version of the Quran or not because I like them all. They make me laugh and they make me excited to expose them. You know, the Muslims, when they say to us, we have one version, I, I, I don't really waste my time to talk about it, which is not true. But uh, let us say, okay, you have one version. So do you accept this story? Oh, like, this is not true story. Do you accept this story? Oh, this is not true. So how do you say this one version? When you don't accept the stories, how you say your book is not corrupted, but you don't accept the story? Do we have any Muhammadan? My Skype is open and the challenge is open. How in the world you Muslims are using Android Tate to teach morality to your religion and your children? And what do you expect from your children? Do you want them to be like him? Everybody to be a pimp? I think you do. Otherwise, I will never even let this person get close to my house. If we see him, actually, we are going to report him because that means he is going to do something wrong to the neighborhood. Isn't it obvious? Yet you Muslims, you have honored by talking to him because you don't have dignity. If you have dignity, you will not even say hello to this person. Who is a Muslim is a proud. As you see, your Muslims are quoting him as if he is your prophet. And now you are quoting him, speaking, he is saying how and why big brand companies are promoting bidophile. How you Muslims even dare to mention this topic when your prophet, he had a wife, she is six years old. And your Quran in chapter 65, verse number four, approve having sex with the children and divorcing children. Actually, there's a very well-known hadith about Muhammad encouraging a man. His name is Jabir. He was telling him, why you marry a mature woman? Why you don't marry a child? So you can play with her and she can play with you. So you can amuse her and she can amuse you. Jabir, he said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, uh, my brother, he died, and he have a bunch of kids, and I wanted to have a woman, not a child like them. And this is a very authentic hadith. As you see those hadith, all of them, very authentic. Sahih Muslim, Al-Bukhari, etc. Why you don't find a very little young girl? Do you see it? So she play, you play with her. A prophet of God is speaking about playing with the young girl. Why you marry a woman? 
why you don't find a little child so you play with her Jabir he said look like he is way more decent than the filthy Muhammad he said my brother he felt a murder which means he fought while he was a Muslim he died fighting for Muhammad and he left me a bunch of girls so I did not approve therefore I did not approve the idea that I should bring a girl like them do you see it Abdul a girl like them so he have what he have a bunch of children's what Muhammad is asking him to do to get a child like them to have sex with this is your prophet who is a Muslim there to say I'm lying and what is the excuse read with me why he want him to marry a child why you don't marry a young girl which is a child so you could sport with her and she could sport with you translation is not accurate in Arabic it says is a, is a like uh, you know uh, you know like sexual fun not just sex it's a sexual fun so Muhammad is saying him she is better she is more enjoyable than a mature woman isn't it clear that this man obviously he hate to have mature women you see if this is my advice to you that's mean what this is what I like if this is my advice to you that's mean this is what I like personally the man as you see he is not complaining he is happily married he have no problem with his wife in fact he want to go fast home so he can see her Muhammad he said to him while you are in a rush what happened did you marry he said yeah and then start asking him a very personal questions now he want to know what is the situation of the vagina of the women he married from so is she a person who is a virgin or she had sex before is she mature or she is a child the guy he said well she is previously married and mature Muhammad don't like that Muhammad he want you to have sex with the children's do we have any Muhammadan anyone nobody nobody all right guys I'm not going to stay here I want to keep the video here short so you guys you can download it and you can share it with your friends and share the hypocrisy of this cult those people they have no dignity no honesty they are ashamed of their religion they try to hide the truth from you that they, their prophet himself he he liked to have sex with the children's the Quran approved having sex with the children's as we showed you in chapter 65 verse number four and we show you the interpretation for it and we showed you the hadith and we showed you all the reference and those people yet in their TV they claim that those who they are giving sex toys to children's they are not doing good and this is haram when their religion approves sex toys even having sex with the children so you are against sex toys with the children but you are not against sex with children's how wonderful you are how truthful you are as a Muslim thank you all for being here and we we'll see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and he got busted thank you but I mean again he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah.